No one makes me feel the way you do inside. And I don't know what I would do without you, and that's no lie. If I done. The new record is called Gumbo. Made it in New Orleans. Moved moved back home after 14 years uh, from LA to New Orleans, and um, really made something that I'm I'm just super proud of. Something that is like purely me, genuinely me. New Orleans is where I learned music. It's where I fell in love with music. It's where everything happened for me musically. So it was freeing to go back to my roots and realize all of those things that made me want to do it in the first place, right? And then you had the freedom of just being in New Orleans, whether you're from there or not. The freedom of New Orleans, they don't, you know, it's the gift and the curse of the city, but we don't care. <laughs> we don't care what you do. We don't care if you have hits. We don't care if you're on the radio. All we want you to do is do something dope and be amazing. And that's the only requirement. So as a creative, for that to be the only requirement, you're bound to make something special because it's like, man, all I got to do is do something special and I'll be embraced. The process that was like gumbo for me was, you know, in the past, I had really focused a lot on love songs and relationship, right? And this time around, I really wanted to challenge myself to throw in all of this different subject matter. I talk about religion, I talk about racial tension in the world right now, I talk about creative freedom, I talk about uh, uh, infidelity, so many things, you know, it's harder to write songs about things and like subject matter that people, first it's hard to not become like preachy or corny, you know? The, the challenge that I wanted to present to myself was to write about these things and still make them good songs that people can sing along to, almost where they don't even know. You know, it could be a sad song that feels happy, you know? And you're singing, you're like, oh, that's what he's talking about, you know? But I think that's the gift of the songwriter. That's the Stevie's, that's the Marvin Gaye, what's going on. Where it's like you still jamming, but it's like talking about real things. I'm sticking to my gun. Till my work is done. I'm sticking to my gun. Till my work is done. Sometimes if I hear something that's dope, I'll, I'll capture it. And we'll throw it in. Um, on the record, I had like saw one of my dad's old messages that he was preaching and ripped it off of the internet, you know, and put it through some uh, put it through some filters and stuff and had it under there. So it's just, uh, you know, I think the the best thing as a creative is just to remain open, right? So I'm I have friends have given me millions of samples over over the years. I'll find stuff. I'll like stuff, you know. Um, so it's a combination of that. But I will. Um, me and my buddy Sam, who, who uh, is in is in Maroon with me, uh, well, if we hear something dope, if we hear a, a drummer on the street corner playing, we'll be like, uh, I'm gonna use that later, you know? And it could not get used for three years, you know? But it's like, we just build that stuff up and then use it when it inspires us. Yeah, my work is done. my plan for me right now. found me on the road as an artist, you know, so that was already kind of set in stone who I was. I was already a soul dude, you know, um, and I think with a pop sensibility, right, because I was a fan of the Beatles and I was, I've always been a fan of choruses, of, of songs that people can sing along to. So I was never so left where it's like, I want to be so musical and weird that people can't sing along to these songs. 
but I was a soul guy. So it's like, I wanted soul and R&B, but I want people to sing, sing these choruses when it gets down to it. So I think that was Maroon in a different way, right? They became Maroon after they got on the Stevie Wonder. So they were all on this punk rock stuff and that's who they were initially. Um, and they found Stevie Wonder and they just merged those two things where it's like, we're gonna bring this soul in. And that, that is really the formula that created Maroon 5 initially. 